Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your oracle reading for this week. Um, it is an oracle reading, so we'll only be using oracle cards. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Aquarius. Thank you Lord God for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, I don't have this much breast. It is the bedazzled brassiere. Um, let's jump into this, okay? All right, so we've got an interesting... Well, it's nothing interesting about this spread. It's the same message. Um, so, Aquarius, what we have here is uh, the lovers, okay? Uh, bad health, okay? despair the bottom of the deck we have concern okay uh, so what this says is that um, there was a connection you came together with someone it was opportunity for you both to grow in this relationship grow together grow up learn from interpersonal connection learn how to be better you know just really ascend go to the next level this was or this is a significant relationship here but somebody is not taking it serious or someone did not take it serious at all um for some of you the relationship is over or there's a, a pause a halt stop um or some of you are still kind of trying to deal with this person um this person could have just really been uh, focused on sex with the bad health card. It's the only card in the deck that shows a bed. So it uh, talks about sex and sexual nature. Maybe this person uh, just really was focused on the physical of this relationship. Maybe this person even had a sexual addiction, connection with other people. This person was only focused on what you could give to them. Um, in the physical base, in the in the physical sense of the relationship, they weren't and they are not concerned about love and affection and growth. And this person probably doesn't respect themselves, or they don't respect women or men, whomever you're dealing with. This person's heart could have been closed. There was no room for growth and love and opportunity. This person just was able to give you what they were able to give you. This relationship went sour. It went south. It went bad. Since the word, you know, since the card bad health, that really um, it tells where it went. It went south. It went into a place of the connection being bad. Uh, it could have been good. It was all about how you both showed up in the relationship. And it seems as if you or the other person showed up in a way of I'm only you categorize the relationship or you kept it in a box of just sex and just hook up friends with benefits, fun times or what whatnot. Um, so yeah, somebody stagnated the relationship. They wanted to keep it at the status quo, which was, okay, we just have fun, we have sex, I see you here or there and then I move on and I maybe do the same thing elsewhere or I'm by myself, but there's no level of intimacy within this connection. There's sex, but there's not intimacy. So the relationship went sour. Someone is at a, at a place of not being able to cope with the fact that it's over, or that they don't have you as a love person or a partner, as a sexual uh, partner. Some of you, this person is addicted to your sex, but they're addicted to your sex because with your sex came love, came devotion emotions real feelings they weren't getting that anywhere else they were just getting the act of having sex and partying and drinking maybe with other people but with you there was there's a saying love makes the sex better so if you love this person if you show love if you show devotion they're addicted to that because now you've taken it away from them and they're not getting it so they're at a place of despair they're at, a, they're at a place of feeling left out. They're at a place of feeling lack, um, ignored, neglected. Something is gone. It, something has depleted 
or yeah, something is, is it has depleted, or this person feels depleted. They feel destitute. They feel vulnerable. They feel like they've lost something of great value here. Um, they may even be questioning themselves in terms of their own. This is like self-centeredness. Like, oh, they don't want me because I look like this or I didn't have this month amount of money or not even really looking at the real issue of um, this person left me because I was not reciprocating on any level outside of physicality and maybe some fun times and that's all. This person also feels like there's so much that has happened they don't know how to find their way back to you. Um, they're looking at what has happened, what they've done to you. Um, they're looking at the unfair treatment because that's how some of you were treated in this connection. It was just unfair. If something is unfair, that means it's out of balance, right? So that means that um, if something's out of balance, then the the other some somebody or something is getting more than the other person. It is out of balance. It's out of whack. It's not in sync. So maybe this person was giving to another person more than they were giving to you given to other people, given to social events or activities or friends. Now this person is in great concern about what the hell you're doing. But what the hell you're doing is maybe healing and getting away from them. They could be expecting a call from you or you expecting them because some of you are in a situation where it was friends with benefits and they ghosted you, but they're saying they'll be right back. Um, this person is... If you're in that type of situation where you thought it was more than what it was, um, this is, it's not, okay? They just want sex. And, and here, as I say that, I shuffle cards and what comes out, we need some sexual healing. So this person really feels like they have the magic stick, okay? They have that, that wand or that, um, that yoni that will just rope you. And once you have that, you'll be fine. Um... I don't think they know a true Aquarius, okay? Yeah, the cards want you to protect yourself and burn your candles, wear your crystals, because this person could be trying to penetrate your energy. Um, they could be trying to visit you in your dream space. They could be trying to pop up at the same place that you, um, where you are. This person could be in deep thought um, with this concern. They're trying to make some decisions. Should they come to you? Should they come back to you? Should they reach out to you? Um, I don't think this person has the best intentions at heart for you. They want to just get back what they've lost. Yeah, and as I say that, someone is saying, can I come over? This is what um, maybe they want to say to you, especially those of you who are in that friends, of, friends with benefits type of situation. Yeah, this is it. It says I'm bad for you, and I know it. Hell, you know it too. So some of you know that this person is just not good for you, and you're too caught up in trying to see the good in a bad situation, in a bad person, okay? Yes, you can't. There are bad people out there, just like there are good. You cannot have one without the other. If you did, then everyone would be what? If you got rid of bad, good people, everyone would be bad. If you got rid of... Um, good people every if, if you get rid of bad people everyone would be good so you have to have the polarities in life and this person is just not good it doesn't mean that they don't have the capacity to ever grow and be a better person it just means right now they just are not they're not good for you they're bad for you um this person may even stagnate your money um when you're with them let's see where are we in nine minutes all right um yeah so Games, lies, and manipulation is all I have to give. This is what they want you to know. I like you, but I love her. So some of you, there was, or there is the dynamic of this person. When I said it was out of balance because of the unfair treatment, they were giving maybe even all of the things that you were giving to, to them, that love, that knowledge, that growth, that, that beauty, your aura, your essence, they were turning around and giving it to someone else who would probably play them too. Um, if you want to know, do they love me? Yes, I do love you, but my love is toxic. Okay, so, and um, at the bottom of the deck, they want you to know that your love feeds my big ego. So someone has a huge ego, and um, they're more so concerned about what it is you can do for them, how you can do that. 
let's see what if we can get a few more messages in terms of what you should be working on working towards um or maybe even the person that you were dealing with it just seems as if if some of you have separated or this person ghosts you work work on fixing you moving on cutting the cord if you want to learn how to do that if you want to learn how to ban banish fear and ex a friend a situation get in on the new moon manifestation um session that is happening this friday and uh this friday july 9th um i'll link it below and i'll also have the video that um will uh, allow you to go and book and the session is affordable okay so get in on the session learn how to manifest new love banish what you don't want uh, manifest new streams of income all right so aquarius who and what you're dealing with travel someone who is a traveling soul someone who's restless someone who may even travel for work there's like maybe they do import export or they just get around for work they have to travel they drive or they do something like that maybe a courier service or they're you know from this location to another location this could be a manager or someone who's higher up in, you know on this in the chain in terms of employment this is someone who maybe you could have traveled with. They traveled to you. This is someone who could live a distance from you. Or you on the outskirts of the city. Or they're in the city or vice versa. Something of that nature. This is someone who, um, yeah, they have a lot of people that they travel around to. They have a ring or a circle or um, uh, what is it called? Um, when you... Um, a rotation they have a rotation of women or men that they travel around to here with the travel card um, when they said that they were at work or doing work they were probably with somebody else um, especially with the opportunity and the liberty and the freedom to be able to travel around for work all right this I said it long distance came flipping out of the deck long distance here um, this could be a long distance relationship there's a lot of distance between the two of you because so much has happened um, this person has to travel to you or you to them there's an energy of um, also there's lack of intimacy it's not a, a strong connection it's not you know you know my grandmother's name and you know how old she is and we go sit at my aunt's house and eat dinner on Sundays. No. This person wanted to, or they are trying to control the connection. They want to be the puppeteer in this. Um, they want to be the person who um, ha who pulls the strings here. Um, and they feel like you leaving, you're trying to control them. Or you're trying to con control the narrative here. They feel like this is a big game. Okay. Union. Um, for some of you... This you could have been in a serious connection with this person, um, or they talked about serious connection, moving in together, marriage. Uh, I don't think anything ever got off the ground here. Um, it was supposed to be a significant union that turned beautiful, but it looks like it turned for the worst. And right now, you're the ice queen. You may have cut this person out. You aren't concerned about them. You're trying to heal and maybe not get in a place of closing your heart um, closing yourself off to opportunity even though this person hurt you deeply you're trying to learn from experience too let's leave you with a soulmate uh, card see what it is Aquarius should be dealing well should be focused on moving forward um this person could, the, these dark cards, this person could work at night, night shift, you're the night on the night shift. Something about travel, travel around, driving. Um, this person gets around, this person is restless. Um, they have a restless nature about themselves. They're overly confident. They feel like um, their gods give to women or men. Um, yeah, they... Uh, also, they travel. They can't stay in one place at one time. Even if they're out having fun, they're ten different places in one night or one day or wherever. This is somebody who um, hot pants. They just can't stay still. Okay. Yeah. So the cards, Aquarius, want you to take a leap into the unknown. Okay. 
yeah, you don't know what's coming next, but isn't it better than dealing with somebody who just wants to stagnate the energy in the relationship and they want to dominate you and force you to accept whatever it is they give? Um, beautiful card. You are uh, moving on to a steady and reliable path. Very nice, Aquarius. For some of you, you are. Some of you are waiting for this person to come back. I don't know why, but you have to go through your own journey. Um, this is your reading. Again, if you want to manifest newness, get in on the new moon manifestation session. It will be linked below. This will be a good session for those who just want newness, really want to sever ties with the old. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. If you want to get your own oracle reading just like this one, go to the website. Um, if you have a question or two, you can text your question to the number below, pay for your question, receive the answer to your question on your mobile device. You can also donate to the channel if you're feeling moved to do so. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care. Wow. As I, I move the deck, because I'm about to close out the reading, in intimacy issues came up. This person just doesn't want to, they don't want anybody close to them. I think because they have some issues that they need to deal with from the past. Okay? All right. Bye, Aquarius.